What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 as Italy in MNT 2.0. In the last episode, apparently, I declared war on the Papal State, which I do not remember at all, but we did it. Um, or at least the game says so. A few things to note. It's been a few days since I played, so I don't remember much. I'm still a good amount of time ahead of tech. I do remember losing a diplomatic relations slot, which was unfortunate. Corruption is growing. I'm not paying it down right now because I just want to be making some money. Um, don't have any of this to go on with, but... Uh, missions. I can create an army for our nation, which I think I might do. Conquer Travaxo or protect against France. This gets me 10 army tradition, 5 prestige, morale of armies, manpower recovery speed, so on and so forth. This does more, so let's do that. Got plenty of manpower, plenty of money. Um, so let me go ahead. Unfortunately, cannons still aren't great right now. Only 0.5 fire damage. Like, even infantry do more fire damage than they do right now. But I think I might want to... I mean, I could go like 16, 4, and 10. Right now. Make a 30 stack. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Make a bunch of cannons, and then uh, see how close we are to that mission after that. Corrupt Ambassador. Our representatives to other countries should represent our very best people, but unfortunately this is not always the case. Sometimes people are given posts as ambassadors because the administration wants them far away, and at worst there is good reason for this. As it turns out, one such ambassador has, been, has spent his well-paid exile further enriching himself with bribes. While this is not exactly improving our reputation with the locals, he has maintained important connections here at home and will not be dismissed without causing some trouble. The event Rice Disappearing happens in Pavia. No, Savoy, you may not have military access. Oh, also, I should make Lom Lombardy into a state. The Consecrate Metropolitan button is there. Will it let me hit it? Well, that's interesting. I mean, we don't use patriarch authority, so I'm not going to push that button. But, uh, probably something in the latest patch. There's ourselves a stack wipe, and people leaving the military coalition, which is nice because we're about to start up a new one. Huzzah! Lost well, the effects of plentiful manpower. People leaving the coalition. Sunni Mosque. Uh, yeah, just give me the ducats. Oh, wow. No, I went deep into my treasury to do all that, I guess. Fume. Would like a peace deal. War reps in 66 ducats. Let me go in there and do it myself. Make sure I get everything I can get. Make sure I be all I can be. Haha, see? You wanted to short me 40, 41 ducats. Oh yeah, I remember. Also, I'm paying like a million less aggressor expansion because this is a uh, this is a uh, what you call it war, Italian reunification war. Ooh, there's a bunch of Triarian men coming down. Right as my cannons are about to finish up, that's a little little annoying. Come north. I don't want those cannons to get marked.
apparently can't march over there. I only need five to get the full siege bonus right now. So I assume that'll go up in the future. Yeah, I don't want to make a state out of Hispaniola. Portugal has disputed succession. That'd be fun. I hate how you can't select things with the macro builder open. It drives me nuts. Alright, so what am I trying to get out of this? Is it everything? It might just be everything. Everything I can take. Yeah, going to cause me to suffer six aggressive expansion for all that. So that's pretty dope. How are my, how's my relation going with Hungary? They actually like me. Even though I siphoned their income a little while ago. Whew. They have got a technological advantage over Hungary. Hungary's still way behind in tech, if I remember right. They're on tech 21. I'm about to go to tech 28. Yeah. Um... Oh, they would accept this right now? And all your money? Sure, war reps, why not? Yeah, sounds good. Give it to me. Tenth of the treasury, of course. I also still need to build a few more troops. Let's uh, lower army maintenance. As soon as I can, I'll make those cores. And we've become a great power! Look at us go. Number seven. We haven't embraced casual literacy yet, though, which is a bit unfortunate. It's only in one of our provinces at the moment, though. And we have conquered Rome. So that's fun. Is there any triggered modifiers for conquering Rome? And this one doesn't look like it. Chaos in neighboring country. 30% I lose one stab? I don't want that. Secure our borders and send aid, or just secure our borders? I think I just want to secure our borders, because I think there's claims I have on, on them. Yes. So I don't want them liking me too much. Um, I need to build more troops. I need to core all that. Face of the Patriarchate. Italian forces have taken Roma, including the Patriarchate there. The Patriarch of Roma is, an orthodox, is in charge of Orthodox Christians for hundreds of miles and enjoys a reverence that gives us pause. As the leader of a myth, misguided faith, he could be a, too, useful, a, useful yule, a useful tool to keep people loyal to us, or a thorn in our sides whose destruction could enrich us considerably. Reaffirm him. This gets us loyalty... Uh, in, uh, not loyalty, but it gets us opinion with a bunch of people. Local unrest in Rome, extra taxes in Rome, and lower missionary strength. We can appoint a loyal patriarch. We lose three years of separatism in Rome. Say, and then the same deal. Demand a tithe in return, or close it down. I think I like appointing a loyal one to get rid of some of those separatism years. That seems good. Building in the Renaissance style. Um, oh, you are suffering attrition there. What about up here? Okay, sweet. And how many more? 
I have 20 more things. Uh, internal conflicts are ticking up, and to get rid of them, we need to get our unrest lower than zero. Once we get these cored, that should be good enough for that. Or if I can get another stability, that should be good enough for that. Build an infantry. We'll build a 20 stack, I guess. Protestant faith grows. Mecklenburg. So we've got, like, essentially free wars against these guys up here. But I probably want to finish coring this first. Oh, and Aragon. Then we go to war with Naples down here. Get the, get the rest of the boot. Uh, also, I should be using this dude. Prove with allies for now? Who even are my allies right now? Lithuania, Denmark, Savoy, and Portugal. Okay. And I'm one over the relationship limit because of that. What happens if Portugal dies right now? Noble from House to Trust tomorrow succeeds to the throne. Both our colonies are going good. Um, boats. Why don't you guys all... Are these the transports? No, those shouldn't be the transports. Yeah, these are galleys. Those are the transports, and those are my exploration ships. Okay. And you don't have an explorer, which I would like you to have. may not be able to explore right now, but... Okay. Just take me to 12, 2, and 6. Uh, a new flagship. I can pay 50 ducats to get... Well, okay. Hold on. Um, cancel all those men. Get all that money back right quick. And I'll decide on what I want to do here. Um, 174 ducats. I mean, I get... Oh, no. No, never mind. Yeah, I'll take a heavy. Haven't, still haven't gotten communication efficiency there yet, huh? Four years ahead of time on these. Then I will take admin ideas. Come on. I need to start this. Circle circulation of hostile publications. When printing was a novelty, it first attracted those who could create codices as great works of art or philanthropists who wanted to spread the knowledge of the classics in a more accessible format. Soon, however, others joined their ranks. Um, less scrupulous men who would make a living slandering others. Ever since printing started to m mature as a business, presses all over Europe have been available for demagogues to spin their webs of lies. Piles of pamphlets lie ready to be distributed to anyone who will believe them as we speak. In some part of our own lands, this otherwise so, uh, so promising technology has been put to use as a means to slander our king and undermine the state. This cannot be tolerated. Time for censorship has come? Or we cannot control the free word? This slows down institution spread, which I don't really want. I think I can handle the local unrest. So I'm going to do that. Because it's not national unrest, so it won't affect the, the that, the internal conflicts stuff taken up. Can I core things now, please? Is that heavy? Yes. Uh, join you up with the galleys. 
Maybe I should have just taken a galley. Those are all take four years, I'm sure. Five years, even. Um, sorry, I was trying to see what this laurel right here means. And I'm not entirely sure what it does mean. Um, also, I wanted to look and see who is my rivals. Castile, Ottomans, and France. Well, looks like we got our unrest below zero. Just barely. Still counts. Still counts. Speaking of things counting, how am I doing with this? Court is ticking down at the moment. Education is ticking down at the moment. Ooh, about 40%. 40% is a break point. Fifty-eight percent, we got plenty of time for it to tick down. If we yeah. Mecklenburg has been placed under interdict. Meteor sided. You missed it, right? Well, here's the good old meteor. Meteors are actually are usually seen as an omen. The question is always a good one or a bad one. Of course, the meeting could, the meteor could be a sign of nothing at all. All right, quarter chance of losing a stab, 75% chance of at least not losing a stab. Good lord. Eternal conflict's gonna start ticking back up here in a second. Dortmund has been placed under interdict. Go for it. Get him. Really weird reformation. Super weird reformation. News from the colonies. Ivory will be produced in Glory. That's actually really good. I would assume. I would bet ivory is pretty, uh, pretty valuable. With this one. Current price is 1.5. Yeah. Millet, for example, is 3. That's one. That's 0.5. Yeah, I would bet. I bet that's uh, pretty good. Trading company that up. Portugal is just going in on Colombia. I need 75% of the force limit. Also, I should probably improve relations with Hungary at some point. Who are you allied to? Austria. Who are you allied to? Nobody. And who are you allied to? Wurzburg. And who are you allied to? Aragon. So I have easy wars here and here, and our stab went up. 
fantastic. The classics. 100 admin and a chance of 40% chance of losing one stab. A beat, well, didn't beat the odds. The odds were ever in our favor, but, you know, when we didn't beat the odds last time, made me pretty certain I wasn't going to beat the odds this time. Tuscan peasants are a little mad. A little bit. Portugal still has no air. But it's going to be Castile who gets anything over me. Discovery spread. This. The blue horde. I mean, Russia out here doing stuff. Is this still the Teutons? No, this is Prussia. Prussia formed! It must be a lot easier to form Prussia, I would assume. If they formed it with just... Just these provinces. Do you... What, do you get cores on anything? Just this? Um, how am I doing on boats? A ways below it, but I also want to finish getting my army up to snuff. Man, I feel like I'm not making any monarch points right now. Did I ever get up to full centralization? I did. So I should probably turn off this uh, policy. Three years ahead of time on these two techs. But we're going to go ahead and call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Um, I don't know. What is... What's your favorite brand, kind of Oreo? What's your favorite flavor of Oreo? Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.